World number one and world number two coming to the final heat of the contest at the Hurley Pro to decide who will be wearing the yellow jersey heading into the European leg of the season here at stop number eight on the Samsung Galaxy Championship Tour. Adriano de Souza taking on Mick Fanning in a rematch from the final that was almost not decided in a tie-break decision at Bells Beach. Knew he'd have to capitalize on this. Fanning is going to get his opener on this inside. Horty with a ton of speed, floats it. Section coming down in front of him. Clean hack off the top. Fanning blitzes the inside corner. Another little vertical turn. A lot of speed for the small insider, and he'll slam it shut and take the lead. <laughs> well, there's a lot of intent in that way, wasn't there, Joe? And the crowd love it. Nick Fanning's uh, gained a lot of a lot of supporters over the last few months and uh, this wave right here let's have a look Mick Fanning he's called White Lightning for a reason flies down the line faster than most look at how quick that turn was off the top gets around that section like it wasn't even there so this wave basically was a closeout Joe and Mick Fanning turned it into a score so a great start there for Mick Fanning puts uh, De Souza straight under a bit of pressure he was in the top 10 being reliable like he has been, but now still in the world title race. Adriano on his opener, straight up vertical, ditching the fins. Big section to float, he'll cover some ground, deep off the bottom, nice and vertical. Now fading this inside track, hoping for a double up. He's earned it now, a little bonus float. Coming around the corner, fin drift. Adriano de Souza getting the support. But as the leader of the Brazilian Storm, answers back to Mick Fanning, 6.5. They're coming out with a lot of speed. Mick Fanning, here he goes, wasting no time, Joe. Little insider broken up with the windswell we have in the lineup. He'll have to go straight up on the first section into some clean water. Forehand body torque in the pocket. Nice snap off the top for Fanning. Climbs it vertically into a wrap. Beautiful combinations to start, looking to finish. Layback jam from Fanning. The final is on. Both surfers going blow for blow, and the fans are loving it here in Lower Trestles. Uh, two prize fighters just swinging for the fences, really. Let's have a look at De Souza's wave first here. Beautiful drawn out bottom turn to off the top combo. Now he gets the speed down the line. Just easy as you like around that section and connects absolutely perfect. A little bit of a fade right there, which kind of got him behind the white water and he lost a lot of speed but then got that speed back and finished off nicely right there. Perfect timing there for De Souza. Nice, clean, smooth surfing. It's what it's going to take. Mick Fanning, a little bit more aggression. Jams that one off the top. Just knifing that turn again and just keeping that board moving. I love the speed, the, the power and the flow that Mick brings to the game. Nice little wrap around. Watch this finish right now. Just daggers that turn right there and throws a lot of spray. Do you think this guy wants to win? It's on fire right wow. now in the final. Pete Mel is right there on the sidelines. How's this looking for you, Peter? Already setting up another wave. His current world number one, Adriano. Big car throwing buckets out the back. Hits it off the coping, springing for the reverse, and he'll get tangled up on the landing. Oh, well, we saw a little chink right there. I was, I was very uh, surprised that uh, Adriana caught that wave, Joe. I think he wants to go wave for wave with Mick. You can see him scratching to get into this one. A smaller wave had a lot of wall on it, so he kind of really had to fit a couple of quick turns in. Jammed it up through the top right there, and then knew he, well, there wasn't enough on that wave to, to gather a big score. So you can see, realizing, what did I do that for? A little bit of a mistake there from De Souza. 6-9 through on his first wave, Joe. Have a look at Mick's second wave, though. We asked everyone who will win the Hurley Pro Finals. 48% of you saying go Adriano. And a little more going with Mick. This is Fanning now. Coming around the corner. High line wrap to start. Throwing his fins out the back, nice and vertical. Staying right in the pocket. Goes off his third top turn. Blasting the fins out on the fourth. Coming to the inside corner, full roundhouse cutback for Fanning, and he'll shut this one down. Wow. You don't see Fanning kick out with a claim that aggressive too often, but he's been doing it all day today on finals day. Well, he did it, uh, he's only done it twice as far as I've seen, and they've both been nine point rides. <laughs> Adriano to answer back. Big wind up for the punt, double grab, he pulls it. 
Next section, he'll just meet it off the top. Now chasing some open face. Wraps it in the pocket. Another big rip on the forehand. The man they call Minerinho. A lot of Brazilians on hand. A lot of Australians as well showing up for this big event. But when you got Mick and Adriano, world-class names, everybody just wants to see a big matchup unfold. Yeah, let's watch this here from Mick. This is just trademark stuff. You know, we've seen this kind of surfing and it just equals big points. Just perfect timing, seamless between his turns. Joins the dots extremely well, but then has that pizzazz, I think, that he's just got that little bit more zip in his step right now with the Souza. The Souza looking clean and smooth, but Mick's got that that sting at the end of his maneuvers that I think at the moment is the difference. Once again, the Jeep leader jersey on the line ever takes out this final. What do you like about Adriano's wear? All right, nice little double grab right there. Clean aerial straight into the next turn. Kind of got caught behind there, so a little bit of downtime for the Sosa, but then managed to get a couple of turns. A little bit too horizontal for my liking. I think he needs to get a little bit more jam in the face, get a bit more speed going into those turns will make them a little bit more exciting. Now we talked about Mick doing that finger click at the end of his waves. I've seen him do it twice in this event. Both of those scores turned out to be nine point rides. So if there's any indication, these guys kind of know what they get, right? They kind of know what a nine is, what an eight is, etc, etc. So there's no surprise once those scores get uh, you know, called out, so there we go, Joe. Well, there's the claim. He turns in not just any nine, a 9.77. Three judges went 9.8. Drop one of those nine eights, drop the nine five, and he's turned in one of the best numbers of this entire contest. Just like that, DeSouza's combo it needs two new waves with 18.30 to go. Well, DeSouza's last wave may get him out of that combo situation. We're looking at it, it's a 17.44 two-wave total for Mick. 17.45 two-wave total required by De Souza. And uh, we're waiting for one more wave. And there it is, there's De Souza's last score, Joe. A 7.37 for Adriano De Souza. Remember, starting with that double grab, had some variety, but comes in just short of breaking the combination. He still needs two new waves. And he's getting that message right now from our Beach announcers. Final still underway here against De Souza and Mick Fanning. Adriano trying to break the combination to come back as we hit the 15 minute mark here at Lower Trestles. Looks like De Souza will now look to make his comeback now. Clips that whitewater section. A chunky one meets him again. He hits it. Just working with a lot of whitewater and foam. Not really getting a lot of space. He's out of there as the task still holds to break the combo. Fanning tries hard for that last wave, but he'll be able to keep priority out the back by missing it. You know what I've noticed the difference is, uh, Joe, is DeSouza's been getting the first wave of the sets, and there's a, a lot of rib, a lot of bump and lump. Let's have a look at it right here. You can see it's really hard to set your fins properly, get that rail in the water, see how that board catching, and it's going up and over chops, and it's proven really tricky to get some uh, solid turns in there. Deciding to get out of that one. Mick has been getting the second or third wave of the set. What happens is that first one comes through and it just cleans the lineup. And the second and third one have got a lot smoother face, which is allowing Mick those really dynamic turns. Final heat though, it's number one and two in the world to settle it as Fanning locks in. Carved a tail release to start. Little section to greet. Getting down the line, throws it vertical. Now it's a little slopey, bumpy on the face, but he'll iron it out with a little jam on the inside corner. And he wants a little bit of more. Gliding into a finishing move, layback hammer once again, and he'll finally let go. Falling on that final turn, his mom Liz enjoying the action, and looks like she's adopt trestles as her second home there. Yeah. You notice she's not smiling, right? And that's what I like about Mick's mom. She, she doesn't count her chickens before they hatch. She knows the ability of DeSouza. She just wants to keep things in perspective. Now, to me, this was a mistake for Mick. Caught the first wave of the set. Some good surfing here, but he's got a better 7.67. You can see how it's sort of bumpy and crumbly this wave as opposed to his 9.77 that he got. Still, I mean, the ability that Mick Fanning has. A couple of catches there on the rail, gets caught behind the whitewater just a little bit and then races through the inside here. Those legs are burning right about now, and, and you can tell right there just goes over the handlebar. So 
Should he have caught that one? I thought maybe should have just waited a little bit longer. As we're into 10 minute warning here in the final fanning, doing some serious damage. A 977, a 767. The last wave didn't factor in. It was a 7.43 though. His lowest mark was a 65 start on a pretty small wave. Maybe the second or third wave in the set. Big one's coming through right now. Big fanning having a look at wave number one. Fanning will make a move and just do setup work to start. Got a lot of room on the inside track. Nice wrap from Fanning. Picking up some speed. Blow tail, lay back, but he goes down. Adriana will have the let next wave with a lot of room. Extends the bottom turn. Knives that first snap. Speed jam, and he has to come around the corner. Climbs the next section. Big rip off the top. Now coming into the inside corner, layback, hammer in the pocket. De Souza heating up. Slow motion reverse with total control. <laughs> wow. Loving that, that finish. Uh, that wave was incredible from our view, Pete. How to look from the water. Well, I'll tell you, to be able to make that section, that first one, he had to do the float. I mean, he could have easily just went for the launch pad, but he saw that there was an inside line, and he it paid off for him. That Those two turns on the inside threw a lot of spray, and I think this wave right here has brought him right back into this final. So we're watching it from the front on view. How would you like the last couple of turn spots? Yeah, beautiful. You know, as Pete said, a lot of spray out the back, which equals power and speed. De Souza, that, I like that transition turn, that just that speed float that got him around that big section. You know, obviously he saw that inside waiting to just be absolutely annihilated, and that's exactly what he did. So talk about what has he got to do to get himself back in this heat, somewhere in the eight to nine point range. I think it's going to come close. Mick Fanning, on the other hand, this was uh, the first wave of the set. Now Mick's changed up his theory. He's starting to catch these first waves, which are a little bumpy, a little crumblier, and really don't offer too much. So. He's got to go back to uh, his strategy that he had at the beginning of the heat and wait for the sets, wait for the, the second wave in the heat, in the, in the set, and get another nine. That's what he's going to need to do. That he did, that he did, and I'll tell you what, it's gonna, we've got a good heat on our hands right now. De Souza's got himself right back in this heat with that last, uh, that last wave for sure. Still waiting for the scores. There it is, Joe. A 9.07 from De Souza. The second best wave of the final. Now Adriano needs an 8.38. 4.25 to go. Fanning was able to regain first priority. But now it's going to be really interesting to see how he's going to use it. He lets it, Adriano roll the dice here, needing an 8.38. Adriano, big wind up, tail high reverse attempt. He's down. Now Fanning just holding position, not taking off on the next wave of the set. And now four minutes to go. Now he knows. Uh, what he's got to do to shut this thing down. He's done it 20 times. It's equated into three world titles. He's got himself back in the lead. With 30 seconds to go, looks like Mick Fanning is going to walk away with that yellow jersey and put himself in yet another world title race. Already congratulating him with 20 seconds on the clock is Adriano de Souza. They've had some dream matchups this season. Adriano won the quarter at Snapper, but the big one was the final at Bells. Mick Fanning winning that one in a tie break. Splitting the points of the J-Bay Open, and now your new world number one, wearing yellow into the European leg, your 2015 Hurley Pro Champion, Mick Fanning. Well, Joe, chicken skin right now. It's uh, such an amazing way to finish off this uh, event. Obviously, two of the world's best right there. And uh, what a champion the Souza is.